Occasionally, I need to breathe. Stop me for a second, I got needs. Occasionally, I set them free. Don't hold me back now, I'm in the lead. This part, so cold life. Mm. Hey guys, so today is part two of my first lot of fall autumn crafts on a budget. These are really beautiful. I feel like they make a really great transition on from the last video. If you didn't catch it, I'll try and link it up there. If not, catch it in the description bar down below. So I am doing a beautiful ginormous candle, which is giving me so many cozy vibes. <laughs> and I'm doing a gorgeous kind of like hot chocolate station as well. And just, it's all affordable, I think. Pretty sure they're all from Poundland. So I really hope you enjoy them guys and that you might like to subscribe to my channel for more crafts and loads more inspiration for your home and lots of affordable decor pieces. I might do a decorate with me for fall. So let me know if you fancy watching that one. Let me know in the comments. But for now, let's get into the video. Let me know which one your favorite one is. Here's number one. So first of all, I've got this huge glass jar from Poundland. It was only a pound but it has a silver lid which isn't going to suit the aesthetic of these crafts so I'm going to spray paint it gold with my trusty spray paint which I will leave linked in the description bar for you I use this so often and then I'm going to paint the bottom of it because I thought that it may well kind of like color it from within a little bit whilst it's burning but we will see how that goes so I'm going to paint the bottom of it while the spray paint is drying on the lid and then once that's all dried off as well I'm going to start with filling it with this beautiful soy wax so it's chemical free really natural and from Amazon as well so I can leave that linked it's a huge pot of it and I'm going to take some of my uh, candle wicks which I've stuck on with some candle wax to the bottom and then I'm going to just roll it up at the top and keep it in place with a paintbrush you could use a pencil or anything like that then fill up some water into a pan and fill the soy wax flakes into the pot now this really doesn't take very long to melt because they're flakes rather than pellets however if you wanted to you could melt your wax in a pot and then pour it into the jar i just wanted to do it this way because i wasn't sure if i wanted to ruin one of my pans with wax and um, potentially ruin it i didn't know if it would so i just did it like this and it worked out really well i did have to keep topping up the water though and this is when i'm realizing my mistake of painting the bottom don't do that do, if you're going to do the painted it still works if you're going to pour it in but not if you're going to melt it this way next i'm going to add in some of my uh, essential oil i've gone with orange because i think that's a really festive smell and it's a really nice smell as well as you can see it's all melted here and i'm just going to wait for it to set and here we go as you can see it's set it's gone opaque back to its original color and i love the gold lid with this as you can see it needs a bit of a clean out there but i'll do that later but i want to make this really pretty so i'm going to forage some things from outside on a walk i've got a pheasant feather some acorns some fur cones and then some cinnamon sticks which i have in my craft box and i'm going to take some gorilla glue i'll link this as well for you if you're interested and you just mix the two parts together to make a really good strong glue i'm just going to stick back together the acorns because they came away from this little bit at the bottom so just a little dab of the glue and then they will be ready to glue on so i'm just going to arrange them however i think looks nice i've also got these fur cones which i spray painted gold as well because i'm basically obsessed with spray painting stuff gold <laughs> someone once said to me on one of my crafts you know that diys aren't just spray painting stuff gold and i didn't take offense because i thought that was quite funny but yeah i do love a bit of gold so i'm just going to stick all of those on and then let them set and while they're setting i'm going to take a piece of bark and then make another little pattern on the side of the candle with my cinnamon sticks and then the pièce de résistance is going to be the feather it's so autumnal i love it now I'm going to trim the wick and I've cleaned off the top and as you can see it just looks so full festive and autumnal and I'm just loving it what do you think guys I really like this one I can't wait to light it 
I love a candle. I'm obsessed with candles. Next up, this is literally a four second craft. It's so quick. I've got a cup, which is one pound from the pound shop, from Poundland, and a Sharpie, which was from the drawer. So that was free, although they do sell them there. And then you just need to measure out how big your word is going to be and what you're going to write. And then make sure it's central and the, the right way round for what the way that you hold your mug if you're left or right handed. So just do a little bit of planning here. I'm gonna write the word boo on here. You could use the word cozy or hot shock or fall, whatever you choose to write. But I just thought this was a nice thing to write. And then I'm going to get my orange chocolate, hot chocolate, and I'm gonna make myself a marshmallow topped hot chocolate and show off my new mug. I love it. What do you think? So quick. Next up, I'm using this wooden board, which again was a pound from Poundland from the kitchen range. I really actually like the color of this, but I'm gonna make it a bit different just to go in with the aesthetic of my crafts. I've chosen mossy green. These are sample pots from home base. They were just a pound. And I'm just gonna paint that over and let it dry and then I'll do probably another coat. I don't think it's gonna need two coats. I'm also just filming a reels for my Instagram. So if you don't follow me, my Instagram is Lara Joanna Jarvis and I'll be sharing some craft stuff over there as well. I'm gonna take this twine. It was really inexpensive and I've already used it loads. So I definitely recommend investing if you're into crafting. I'm just gonna add a little bit of extra to this uh, board just to make it a little bit more intricate and detailed so I'm just simply tying it around I tied a little knot in the top bit and then I'll just tie it all the way all the way around and then when it comes to the end I'm just going to kind of like tuck it under it's a little bit hard to see with the angle but as you can see the colors go really nicely you could do this any color that you like but I just thought this is quite contrasting to what the other things are that I have and it looks really nice. Next, I'm gonna try and get some inspiration from the internet just for some nice calligraphy fonts and I'm gonna write something on it. I've practiced here, if you, as you can see, not good at calligraphy, but you don't need to be either, so don't worry. First, I'm gonna just pencil on the, uh, the words just in case I get it drastically wrong. Just means I can copy this. And I've gone for cozy. I think that's a lovely autumnal word. And then I'm gonna go over it with my paint pen. These were a pack of four from Amazon, I think around eight pounds. It was a gold, a silver, a white, and a black, which I think is a good price, and I'll use them all the time. I realized after this that I actually didn't take up much space so I then wrote home <laughs> and then I'm just going over with my paint again for any bits that need retouching and then just to make it a little bit more rustic I'm taking some sandpaper and I'm just taking off the edges and then I'm going to finish it with this Rust-Oleum furniture wax and it's again linked in the description bar for you it's a huge tub because I want to do my TV cabinet table as well. I'm just gonna take a bit of old scrap here. This is like a shoe polish <laughs> scrap rag. And I'm just gonna go over it and this is going to make it waterproof. And there we go. I think it looks so cute and pretty and perfect on my wicker sideboard unit. And I think you can write anything on this and it looked really nice. Next, I'm gonna make the little pumpkins you just saw there. So I've got, got, I've got these from Hobbycraft, but I'm sure you'll probably have to get them in the pound shop soon. They are gonna be coated in this paper, again from Pound Shop. And I'm going to do it like a decoupage and choosing these colors because I like the non-traditional pumpkin colors. All you need to do is just take lots of strips and get some PVA glue and then simply just coat it on the top. I'm sure you know how to decoupage, but you can just make a really nice pattern with these. And in fact, my children then got involved. They wanted to do it as well. So I'm just gonna speed this up for you quickly. Next up, I'm gonna take some paint and some bicarbonate of soda to make this next one. I saw this over on Megan McKenna's channel. She is a DIY queen. I love her crafting videos. All it is is to make a bit of a texture. So you're gonna use some bicarb of soda and mix in any paint that you like. I've chosen this color. It's a really pretty kind of light terracotta color. And then you just mix it up. It goes really thick. So make sure you've got the right consistency and then just paint it on. But it gives a really nice kind of stone effect almost and uh, nice and textured. So I'm just painting those on and then I don't actually think this needs a second coat. I'm gonna feature a little bit of a gold finish to this. So I'm just gonna spray some of this into the lid and then take a paintbrush and paint on some feature lines and on the stalk part as well, just to bring it up a level and give it a bit more pizzazz. 
I really like how these little ones turned out. They look great on my tray and dotted about the house. Obviously, you could change up the colours however you prefer. So, I really hope you enjoyed those crafts, guys. I would love to know what your favourite one is. And if you'd like me to make more Poundland full home decor crafts, it's kind of like dollar store crafts as well because it's essentially the same thing. Do subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed my content. I'd love to have you here as part of this community. And I will see you guys in my next one. Lots of love.